Hey, what's up folks? Welcome to the 2021 State of the Office Apocalypse Edition. Let's get moving. Here is the space. Now some of you are wondering, hey, did he get a decent camera so I won't throw up halfway during this video due to motion sickness? No, nope. no he did not. Over in this corner we have the yellow North Face backpack that will outlive us all. It is awesome. New this year is a metal toolbox I got for Chrismica. It is awesome. My old plastic one was falling apart and this one holds all of my tools which is great. Problem! All of my tools in one spot turns out it's very heavy. So there's that. Here's my home gym. Half of you are probably saying right now, hey 15 pounders why don't you just grab some q-tips? Hey, I don't appreciate that. And the other half of you is saying, how do you maintain that amazing body with just this? And thank you for asking. I will tell you, you lift them a lot. Like if you usually do 40 pounds, sets of 10, do 15 pounds, sets of like 35. I didn't have any equipment at home when the apocalypse started. My wife does, she works out at home, so these are the heaviest things she had. And, and uh... I'll be really glad when gyms are safe once again. All of my guitar pedals are now on this thing. This little window shelf lets them keep the dust off a bit, which is nice. Dusting pedals is hard, which is why I don't do that. I have a new guitar and piano playing throne. It's a rock and sock saddle style, and it's awesome. It's Kind of expensive, but uh, it, it's great. I use it to play guitar and keyboard these days. Nothing much has changed about Tonehenge. All my pedals are pedals I've had. They're in a slightly different order. Now I go to the Exotic Effects EP Booster to uh, Earthquaker Devices Plumes to a Ram's Head Big Muff Pie. And I've got a Wampler Euphoria, which is like a really light, uh, they say it's like a Dumble. I've never seen or played through a Dumble, but it's a very nice warm breakup kind of thing. A Wampler Pinnacle for the uh, 80s Shred. A Jam Man Looper, so I can play with myself. And it goes... From there, from the Jammer Looper, it'll go into this Earthquaker Devices Dispatch Master, and then uh, John Pertucci uh, Chorus Pedal. Yes, I do Chorus after Delay and Reverb. Don't at me. Goes from there to the Ibanez, and it also goes from the Jam Man to the Roland, and sometimes I'll have both of them on and just uh, really alienate the neighbors. The guitars are the same. I have not gotten a new guitar in a terribly, terribly long period of time. Blue is my number one, and she got some changes this year. I changed out the pick guard to get rid of all the annoyances I have with the strap. These are the annoyances I have with the strap. This volume button pisses me off because my, my hand always hits it. I don't like you. The middle pickup pisses me off because when I'm finger picking and, and doing my intricate things that are supposed to sound like Ingve but don't, this, this gets in my, it, it annoys me. So I got a custom made pick guard and instead of a volume, tone, and tone, it's just a volume and tone and nothing right there and no middle pickup. Very happy. This is a GFS pickups, which I found I liked in one of my other guitars. This is like a, a hot PAF style pickup. And this is supposed to be like a Burns Trisonic Brian May kind of thing. It sounds very different from a regular single coil. I'm still deciding whether I like that or not. That's my number one. No new guitars though for several years, which is... If you need proof for an apocalypse, uh, that's it. I got a new keyboard or MIDI controller. This is an 88 key Arturia Keylab 88 Essential. It is not hammer action because I'm not uh, Beethoven, but it is the best semi-weighted 
MIDI controller action I've ever had. It is great. Over here we have an iPad that does nothing but check the work email. Anybody that works for a local government will relate to this. Any other device or web browser, you go to check your email. Every 24 hours you have to re-log in. When you re-log in, it'll like try call your phone and they have to figure out where your phone is. For some reason on the iPad, you log in once, you're good forever. So I just use this to check email. And it also is nice that it's over here so I don't obsessively check email. I like to ideally check email three times a day. I usually do it more often, but three times a day would be better for my productivity. The computer area is all the same. Same 32 inch 1440p curved monitor, which I really like. Uh, I'm still very happy I'm at one monitor now instead of two. And Mr. Computer is the same. I have been waiting for uh, you know, the Ryzen 5600X or 5600 CPUs to get in stock anywhere so I can upgrade this puppy. Because I'm still on a first gen Ryzen, but it's just, everything is just out everywhere. Thank you, Apocalypse. One thing I did upgrade was my audio system. I used uh, Active Studio monitors forever, and I realized recently, hey, I don't run a studio. So these are just passive speakers. They're Yamo S803s, and they sound incredible. And they're being amplified by this little guy that's called an SMSL SA300 or something 300. And it's this tiny little brick that is a 32-bit crazy amount of kilohertz DAC. So it's going USB straight to my computer. And it's, it's a like 80 watt amplifier in this little brick and it sounds incredible. It does Bluetooth and RCA inputs too, but I don't use any of that. My audio in here has never been better. One thing that happened on New Year, and I shout this out because I thought it was awesome, my CyberPower UPS, hey, I don't, I don't cable manage, shut it. My CyberPower UPS died on New Year's Day, which I didn't think was a good omen. Turns out the battery in it, it was 10 years old, almost down the nuts, and it was just dead. Got a new battery from Amazon, put it right in there, and it's back up and working. The CyberPower UPS I've had for a decade is just fantastic. And they make software that runs on Linux, so you can attach a USB from there to my uh, Linux box and I can check and see what the status of it is and it will automatically shut off my PC if the power has been off for more than 60 seconds. Because our wireless router and Wi-Fi will run off that battery for like almost two hours. This PC is hooked up, yeah, I got about 20 minutes. So that's great. That is the state of the office. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I don't know why, but if I don't do this every year now, uh, someone asks me where it is. So I, I feel like it's a thing. Keyboard and mouse are all the same. Everything else is hunky-dory. Hey, stay safe out there, folks. I hope you're doing well and surviving the apocalypse, and hopefully by this summer, life will return to some degree of normalcy. I will catch you later. Bye-bye.